What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So you want to learn how to sell more on Poshmark, make more money on the platform and turn your Poshmark closet into an at home business that actually pays you substantially. Well, you're in the right place. Okay. Because this is a free one hour mini course. Basically what I did in this actual video is I took about 10 lectures. I think there's nine actually, if I'm not mistaken, I actually just did it. I took about nine lectures from a bunch of my reselling courses specifically pertaining to Poshmark. Um, and I basically compiled them into this hour long video, just back to back, right? So it's nine of my best Poshmark, you know, videos that are going to teach you like automation software to scale your closet with less time. Okay. It's also going to teach you like my best tips to resell more on the platform, get more eyes on your closet, get more traffic to your listings and ultimately get more likes and more sales on your, uh, on your, your listings, right? And your items. Okay. It's also going to be things like, you know, how to source inventory better, how to source more profitable inventory, all that good stuff. And if you want like kind of like a time lapse or, you know, what's specifically going to be in this video, you can check out the timestamps. I put them in the description for when those specific lectures actually, you know, show up in the video. Okay. So there's a lot of great value in this video. It's pretty much everything that I know and have used to grow my own Poshmark closet into over a hundred thousand followers and basically scale it up. So I know what I'm talking about. I've grown my closet. I sell really, really well on the platform and I source great inventory for it. You can learn all that in this video right here. There's a one is to list your items more expensively from the get go than you expect to sell them. This creates a sense of value when you drop your prices, whether that's during a closet clear out sale, which happens about two to three times a month, or if you're just dropping them and making an offer to likers as you accumulate more interest in a listing. And if you sell it at that higher price point initially, then great more power to you. Now, two of the things that I touched on are closet clear out sale and making offers to likers. Those are two of the most valuable tools that you can utilize in your Poshmark closet to prompt more sales, right? That's the number one reason or one A and one B really, because there's two of them there that you want to stick to higher listings initially so that you can drop your price and still maintain the error of value. So I usually sell more during a closet clear out sale or the two closet clear out sales that happen, right? Then I do the entirety of the month without them. The reason being is during a closet clear out sale, what Poshmark will do is Poshmark covers the shipping for the buyer and then obviously they get a 10% discount. So if you drop your, your items and your listings down 10% from, the, re, from the, the original purchase price that they're listed at, well then that, that, uh, the people that like those listings are gonna get notified that, hey, this has free shipping for the next 24 hours, and oh, by the way, the price has dropped 10%. So they don't have to pay the shipping and they get a cheaper price. One of the best ways that you can initiate more sales on Poshmark is to utilize these closet clear outs to your advantage. But just like tip number one, you can't do that if you start listing your products too low. So list them high and be patient. Tip number two is to organize your closet for visitors and for more sales. So there's two ways to basically do this, right? You want to put your sold items at the bottom by as you, as you get sales and as you accumulate more sales, you'll see that you get that little sold tag on it, right? So what you want to do is you want to share all the items around that so that your sold ones end up at the bottom because when you share an item, it moves to the top of your closet. So you want to make sure to organize all your sold items toward the bottom of your closet so people don't have to scroll through a bunch of sold stuff to see exactly what is available still for sale. And the next one is to put your most desirable items at the top of the closet. You'll start to notice that as you put your mo most desirable items at the top of the closet, that's really going to prompt a lot more sales on those specific items because the majority of people that come to your closet are only going to share back the top two to four things maybe because the majority of people are doing it from the app and you'll notice that once you hop on the app, you can only really see the top two to four items and they're the easiest to share. If somebody's coming back to do share for share, kind of like like for like on Instagram, right? So if you share something of theirs and they're going to come back and share something of yours, they're not going to scroll down to like 10 listings below and share one of those. No, they're going to share the top two or four listings. So make sure that you're organizing your, your closet uh, items for that actual optimization when people come back and share them. Tip number three is to organize your closet for specific parties. So what do I mean by that? For instance, let's say that there's 
you know, I don't know, a jean party going on right now, right? And you have two or three jeans in your closet. Well, what do you wanna do? You wanna organize your jeans to the top of your closet by sharing them, and then what I want you to do is go to the jean party and start sharing from there. Now, you can really utilize tip number four that we're gonna go over here in a second to get more of your bang for your buck when you're doing this, but in short, what you wanna do is you wanna organize your jeans to the top of the closet, or you know whatever the niche or party that you know is currently going on if you have listings for that, and then you're gonna to go to the jean party and share a number of listings and just continually do that. Why is that? Why do you think? Because anybody in the jean party is either listing jeans, so they obviously are interested in potentially looking and liking your jeans in the future, or they're there to buy, and as you start, start to share more and more stuff, it's gonna bring more and more traffic and more and more shares to your closet. Also, like we talked about before, the top two to four listings in your closet are gonna get the most visibility, the most traffic, and the most potential likes and shares, thus pushing your jeans out to a number of, uh, and variety of people that are currently on the platform looking for what? looking for jeans, right? So make sure you're utilizing that to your advantage. Don't just organize your closet to by putting the sold items to the bottom and your best items at the top, but also organize it for the specific party that's going on currently and the specific party that you're sharing from at that current time period. That is one of the best tips that I could give you to prompt more sales and really convert a lot more of your Poshmark closet traffic into purchasers. So tip number four is to use automation software. Like I said in the intro, it is one of the only places and e-commerce marketplaces that I know of that you can automate consistently and successfully so that you can go about your life and you don't have to worry constantly about you know organizing your prices and organizing your listings and bringing traffic to your listings or even paying for like PPC on Amazon or something like that, right? No, you can use automation software to bring consistent traffic while you're going about your life. Now, there are many services out there, but I personally love Simple Posture. I love this, I've been using this for, I don't know, about a month or two now, and it only costs $10, it's $9.99, which is a complete steal. And if you, you're not sold on it, you can get a free seven day trial for that. It's not an affiliate link, I don't have an affiliate link for that. But if you're not sold on it, you can use it for seven days for free, and then keep just cycling through seven day free trials, so you don't actually really ever have to pay for it, although $10 is super, super cheap. And the reason that I love Simple Posture and automation in general is because it takes your time out of the equation so that you're constantly bringing traffic to your closet, constantly sharing other people's stuff, constantly liking it, constantly commenting, constantly engaging on the platform or app, while you're going about your life, you're eating, you're sleeping, you're watching TV or whatever it is that you do on a daily basis, you don't have to constantly be on your phone or on the, uh, the website sharing and going crazy. Tip number five is one that I see a lot of beginners not really understanding, and that is to be patient and not expect your listing to sell right away, okay? You could be leaving a lot of potential profit margin on the table if you're trying to really, really list your items low, or even if you list them high like I initially said to, and then you're dropping them too fast, right? Be patient, don't expect your listings to sell right away, or you know, realistically within a couple days even, okay? Some listings will sell almost immediately, some will sell in a couple days, some will sell in a couple weeks, and some might sell in two months when you find the right buyer. Obviously, there's no way to test specific, uh, you know, the, the specific sales velocity of an item or a niche on Poshmark. It's trial and error, but one of the best tips that I could give you to sell more at higher margins is obviously to scale your listings up, more listings, but also be patient and don't always expect your listings to sell right away, okay? So use the automation to bring in consistent traffic, Use the sharing techniques that we've gone over in this video to then bring more traffic to your closet consistently and properly. Price your items higher than expected and don't drop your listing price too low and too soon because not only will you potentially sell it at a lower margin, but it also, if you drop it too low too fast, buyers will see that and it'll create this air of you know no value in that listing. This is something that I noticed across the board, whether you're selling on Amazon, eBay, Poshmark, or Mercari, or literally anywhere. If you price your price point too low, buyers will make the assumption 
that it's lower for a reason because there's not that much value in there. So price it high, your listing will sell eventually if you give it time. So first is to relist stale items, okay? Now you get to relist them at higher price points if you relist stale items. So what do I mean by stale items? And a stale item in my opinion is something that you've had listed for a while, on Poshmark and maybe you've made a bunch of offers to likers and maybe you've dropped the price significantly during closet clearouts and it's all the way down to like, you know, below $10. While there might be interest on it, or maybe there is no interest on it, there's no likes on it, you can't really sell it at a price point that you like, you can't really make a good ROI and a profit on it, so if you relist that, basically you'll get more exposure on your listing because you're gonna get it pushed out to the top of the homepage or the app, obviously, depending on where you're looking at it, to the people that follow you, right? And you're also gonna get that little red story thing at the top of the feed page for the people that also follow you, right? So it's gonna give you more exposure. On top of that, you're also gonna potentially be able to sell it at a higher price point and make more money ultimately, okay? So the next thing that I wanna talk about is sharing your closet multiple times per day. And you might be sitting there saying, well, I don't have time to share my closet multiple times a day, it takes forever, but you can automate the entire Poshmark sharing process, okay? I use a, a Google Chrome app, it's a free Google Chrome app initially for seven days, you can try it out risk-free for seven days. It sounds like a pitch, but it's not. It's called Simple Posture, I highly recommend it. After your seven day trial, you can decide to stay on for $9.99 a month, which is gonna pay for itself time and time again. It helps you share from parties, it helps you share your closet, and it's gonna literally save you so much time and help you make so many more sales. I literally use it myself every single day in my Poshmark business, and I highly recommend that you check it out, okay? So you can automate the entire sharing of your closet. I recommend that you at least share it a couple times a day, if not more. You don't need to go crazy and do it like every hour, but maybe two to three times a day at least. That's basically going to you know, bring those items higher up in search results and keep them at the top of searches, okay? So it's gonna give your items more visibility. For example, say someone searches for like medium red sweatshirt. Poshmark is gonna show new listings for medium red sweatshirts, uh, and new meaning, all I mean by new, is either just listed or just shared, right? So if you, if you just list an item, it gets more visibility in like a 24 to 48 hour window. I'm not sure the, the specifics on that, but all you really need to know, if you just list an item, it gets more visibility. If you just share an item, same thing it gets more visibility. So share your closet and your items multiple times a day, and you can automate the process with simple Pasha. Now, tip number three would be to edit and update old listings. Now, this is super simple to do, and it's basically the same as relisting things, right? So it's gonna simulate a new listing update, and then you'll get more exposure on the homepage and in search results for that listing for a period of time, right? I'm not sure if it's 24 or 48 hours, maybe somebody can comment below and let me know the specifics of that, but all you really need to know is if you edit and update your listings, meaning if you're on the couch watching TV or something, right? All you really need to do is hit edit on your iPhone or your iPhone or your Android, right, right on the app, hit edit and literally click list, edit list, edit list, edit list. That's gonna simulate a new listing, give you more visibility, and that will help you sell more. Moving on to tip number four now, and that is a simple one. It's basic, right? You hear it almost every tip video, regardless of we're talking about eBay, Poshmark, Amazon, or Mercari, and that is more inventory, right? Now you see the bins behind me. I'm constantly try trying to stack up on more inventory. I need to expand. Uh, I need to expand potentially to another warehouse or you know a garage or something like that. As I get more inventory, I'm running out of space. But the reason when you're doing your own fulfillment that you need more inventory, and even on Amazon with Amazon FBA, right? is more inventory equals more potential sales, which equals more potential profit, right? Too often people ask me, how can I sell $1,000 a month, right? Or how can I sell $5,000 a month across the variety of my stores? Or plug in any number there, right? Well, if you wanna sell $1,000 a month, chances are you need at least, at least $1,000 worth in inventory, right? So focus on building more inventory. If you're not selling enough, chances are you don't have enough inventory in your store. Now, the next one is another tip, especially for Poshmark, that's super crucial, and that is to prep your clothes before listing them, okay? Now, especially if they're used, but this also applies to certain new items, and you can get a steamer very, very cheaply. A steamer is super easy to use, and it works great. Now, you're gonna improve the listing pictures by steaming something, or even just ironing it, right? Or putting it in the wash sometimes, and really prepping your clothing before you take the pictures. That's gonna significantly increase the value that you can sell it for, and help you make more money. For example, sometimes a simple steam on a wrinkled uh, shirt, for example, 
will make a massive difference in the picture that you take and how it looks to the customer. And that will obviously help you sell more and help you sell it at a higher price point. The last and final tip is that your closet is not what you want to buy, okay? What do I mean by that? Well, too often people source their closet and, and they build items around what they like, right? So maybe the, the price point that they got that item at was a little too high or you know a lot of different factors, right? But you need to stop sourcing that way because you're not shopping your closet, are you? No. So what it should be consisted of is profitable listings that will make you a good ROI, okay? Whatever that is, whether it's cashback items, coupon art items, liquidation items, whether you're going to thrift stores, stop just buying things that you like because you're not buying those items, right? You need to source items that are profitable, that are gonna give you a good ROI long-term or short-term regardless of how you're approaching it, right? So that means don't be afraid to source used items as well. You can make massive ROIs on used clothes if you try them out and you'd be surprised that if you just prep some used clothing from time to time you can get it super super cheap for pennies on the dollar you prep it it looks good you list it people have interest on that especially on Poshmark right so to recap you can make great ROIs on, on used clothing you do need to prep it though obviously it costs little to nothing to acquire and source it and we all have extra clothing laying around if you just want to start it that way that maybe you've outgrown or you don't wear anymore, right? So that's six Poshmark tips, not things that maybe you've all heard before, but simple actionable tips that you can take today to increase your Poshmark. All right, so the first tip is a simple one, but yet most people that sell on Poshmark don't even do this, and that is to share your closet at least one times a day. Now, preferably you wanna do this a lot more, and I know it can be like tedious, obviously, when you're going through and you're like literally hitting share to my followers, share to my followers. If you have a couple hundred listings, or even less, like right, like 50 to 100, like it's gonna take you a long time, and it's really gonna be a monotonous process that you don't wanna do, so I totally get that, right? That that said, with an automation software like Simple Posture right here, it makes it so much easier. Now, I've done an entire video on how to use Simple Posture and how I recommend that you do it as well. And that way you can also automate your Poshmark closet a lot like this. Now it's not fully auto, but it is the best automation software out there that I know of currently. It's $9.99 a month, it comes with a free trial. It does pretty much everything that all the other expensive ones do that you really need, okay? So literally I can do, I can randomize the sharing order or I can reverse share, share order from the bottom if I wanna keep my closet organized. I hit start and bam. It literally is just gonna start pulling these these listings down and sharing them to whatever it is, right? So if I set it up to share to the party, it'll share to those act those listings to the active party going on currently, right? If I don't click that, then it will just share them all to my followers, okay? Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Now, you wanna share your closet, like I did say, at least one time a day, okay? Preferably a lot more. The reason being, the more you share your items, the higher visibility they're gonna get on the platform. So on Poshmark, there's really two ways that you're gonna get more visibility by doing this, right? So it's either number one, it's the most recently uh, you know, listed, or number two, the most recently shared. And so by sharing your stuff all the time, constantly, you're going to constantly be giving your items more visibility on the platform. And then obviously it's a better chance for you to sell them across not just your followers, but people in parties, as well as the people that are searching for those specific items or items like that, okay? So automate your closet, it's game changer. It's gonna do so much for you and it's so easy to use. Now, tip number two is something that's super easy to do, and it's actually a lot quicker on mobile if you wanna do it when you're like bored or like sitting on the couch or something. You can just do this randomly with a couple of items here and there, and it's also going to increase your visibility and help you sell more. So what is it? Well, it's edit list. That's exactly what it is, right? Edit list. Now, remember what I said from number one. There's two ways to get more visibility on the platform. You can either share your items, and then a Poshmark will show them, uh, and there'll be more visibility in search results and other things based on the most recently shared, right? or the most recently listed, but you don't actually have to create a brand new listing to get most recently listed, right? If I just right click this really fast and right click this really fast, what's gonna happen is I can go into edit, scroll down, 
and literally hit update. Now I didn't change anything, but because I updated the listing and relisted it, Poshmark's gonna see that as a brand new listing and categorize it as such. And that's a little hack that you can do to constantly give your items more visibility on the platform. Now, like I said, it's so much, it's so much easier on the actual apps. I highly recommend that you do this. It doesn't have to be all the time, but if you do this at least once a day, like we said with tip number one as well, preferably a lot more, you're gonna end up higher in search results because like I said, new listings are usually how it's sorted originally and you'll get more visibility on top of like your feed. If you go like to the feed, like the Poshmark feed, You'll notice that like some people have like these little stories up here, especially on uh, like the mobile, right? On the mobile version of the app. And what these are are people that literally just see shop new listings that just edit relisted or listed something new. So it's gonna give you more visibility on a number of places and that's the number of, and that's the name of the game on Poshmark, right? You want more visibility for your items, giving them a higher chance to sell. Okay. Now, something else that you can do, so tip number three is to simply fix stale listings or lower price listings and relist them higher. Now, this is also gonna help you sell more and make more money, right? So it's gonna help you make more money, obviously, because this is a perfect example of one. So is this one right here, right? You can see that I've dropped my prices super low, so I'm not getting any money on these. Now, I've dropped these because of closet clearouts, hoping to sell them and just free up some inventory because I have so much inventory that I need space. And sometimes I'm doing these promotions just to kind of get some of that inventory out and clear it up for other items where I can potentially sell more. This is an example of something that didn't sell well that I was taking a chance on. This is something that I, I think I got this like a month ago it still hasn't sold I have a couple of them so what I would redo right is I'd literally relist this I'd copy the title I'd copy the pictures I'd copy literally everything and just send it into a new listing relist it and put it back up at the list price of 15 bucks or maybe even a little bit higher and just re-roll the dice again right slowly drop the price accumulate um, interest and then make offers that is going to help me make more money number one because clearly there's no margin on this so if I relist it I have a, the potential to make money on that and it's also gonna help me sell it easier, right? Why would you think that raising the price and relisting it's gonna help you sell it easier? Well, A, because the people on this already know that I've made offers most likely, so they're they're already waiting to see how low I'm gonna drop the price. And number two, often if you list it higher, there's kind of that perception of more value in the listing. And so sometimes when a listing gets this low, whether it's five bucks, six bucks, nine bucks, 12 bucks, regardless, whatever it is, it's gonna dif differ depending on your listing and the value that you're offering, right? But sometimes when the, the price is too low, people perceive it as not actually being a valuable item. And so often raising the price up and doing it all over again will actually prompt a sale. It might not be right away, but it will help you sell more and it will help you make more money. Now, tip number four is something that you can also implement super easy and it's make offers to likers. So every single day I'll pick, you know, maybe 10 to 50, depending on how much time I have and I'll, of the of the items in my closet and I'll literally just make an offer to a liker. So instead of offering and dropping the price like it was a closet cl uh, clear out sale, I literally just offer to likers. Now you can see that there's only one liker on this actual listing, but if I were to make an offer to them and prompt the potential sale, that's one of the easiest ways that I not just sell on, on Poshmark, but also Mercari and eBay as well, right? So maybe I offer free shipping and then give them a little bit of value at like 17 bucks, and then I'm still netting 650 on this roughly, and I think it cost me like a buck to get this on a coupon website. I could also go a little bit higher if I wanted to go like 21 bucks, and then may, maybe potentially net 10, right? I send that to the liker, and boom, maybe they buy it, maybe they don't, but it's something that you can do immediately that costs to nothing that can potentially prompt more sales for you. Same thing with this one, right? Maybe I'm gonna give a slight shipping discount and we'll call it like 15 bucks. So they're getting a discount there, they're getting a discount on the shipping, and then I still can potentially net $9. And the last tip is to share to and from parties. So you wanna share two parties, right? all the time. If there's a party going on, for example, let's say there's a shoe party going on. Well, I have a lot of shoes in my closet currently, so obviously I would share those shoes to the shoe party, right? Because typically speaking, people that are in the shoe party, sharing shoes to the shoe party, are going to be more likely and more inclined to buy shoes or be interested in shoes, right? So it's the exact target buyer that I'm looking for often. Same thing with like jeans, right? You, you say I had jeans in my closet, which I don't, and there was a jean party going on. Well, chances are I wanna share those jeans to the jean party. Same Thing from parties. So that's gonna give you more chance to sell it to the people in the parties and, and grow, grow your closet that way. But if you share from parties, it's also going to cause people to look at your closet
closet, share back, and potentially come back to your closet in the future to make a purchase. How's that going to work? So you can automate both of these, by the way, just with simple posture. I'm not going to cover that in this video. And then I just literally leave it there and it's going to share 48 items, or I can share it indefinitely if I wanted to go that way as well. Okay. But then you obviously have to, if you share it indefinitely, there's only a certain amount of listings up on the screen currently. So you'd have to keep updating it or keep switching the sort by category. So that's why I don't typically, little caveat, share indefinitely um, from parties like this, okay? But so what this is essentially going to do is why why are you sharing these these items from the party? How's that going to help you share uh, sell more on your closet, right? So what's typically going to happen is just like follow for follow on Instagram, there's kind of like the share for share culture on Poshmark, right? So if somebody shares your item, they're kind of expecting you, not always, but it's kind of like, you know, an unwritten rule that you you share them back, you give the love back, right? And so by me sharing all these people's items, they're going to potentially see that I shared their item by getting a little notification up here or on the app and then come to my closet to share one of my items, right? So A, I'm getting more visibility to their followers. They might then end up following me, so they might follow me, their followers might follow me, hence growing my closet. On top of it, it's giving me more visibility to their followers because they're sharing my item to their followers. And oh, by the way, on top of that, if I'm sharing from a party and I've already sorted my closet, let's say that I've sorted my closet with like all the shoes up top, right? And I'm sharing from a shoe party. Well, just like we covered in the last tip, the people that are more inclined to you know want shoes or be my potential customers are gonna be in the shoe party. So if they come to my closet looking to share items back and happen to notice something that they like, it, then they can obviously potentially buy it. So it's really just giving you more visibility and more chances to sell. These are five tips that you can literally utilize today to increase your Poshmark sales. So another thing I wanna talk about is sharing and followers. So sharing first and foremost is literally everything on Poshmark. Sharing is how you're going to bring more traffic to your Poshmark listings, get more eyes on your potential listings, obviously, and make more sales. Now, people will share your stuff back uh, to their followers, which obviously gives you more eyes on it. So a general one of the, the tactics that I used to teach was go after and share people with high closets um, or high follower accounts. But that's a little bit outdated. It still works, but it's definitely still a little bit outdated. Um, and the reason being that, that sharing works so, so well is because, obviously, like I said, people are going to share your stuff back because it's kind of like like for like on Instagram, for example, if you tend to like somebody else's posts a lot, well, there's a higher chance that, you know, if you're like a, one of your friend's posts, they're going to like your future posts back, right? It's kind of like for like, same thing goes on Poshmark. It's kind of share for share. So if you go to a party and you share a bunch of things, generally speaking, those people, a lot of them will share your stuff back, which then puts your stuff in front of of their followers more frequently and gives you more chance to sell it and get more eyes on it, obviously. Uh, also, it basically puts a notification to that person specifically who's about to share your stuff back that uh, you know th they can potentially come to your closet to share, that's why I put it right here in uh, parentheses, to share, that's their intention, but then maybe they potentially, something catches their eye and they purchase. Now, this is something that I teach uh, and, I, and I taught specifically as a share tactic in the last module. Uh, and we talked about the reason being, you know, if you go to a bathing suit party, for example, and you have a lot of bathing suit listings, well, somebody that just shared a bathing suit or is looking to sell a bathing suit or has listed a bathing suit very similar to yours in the past, well, obviously they're more inclined to purchase another bathing suit in the future. So if they come to your closet and they see you know, 10 bathing suits, for example, and one of them catches their eye, they might like it for a future and then you can drop your price down to make a sale or they might just flat out buy it. It really, really, really increases, increases their sales. And obviously we talked about how you can automate this, which is a complete game changer. Um, if we just, you know, I'm always in the background sharing. Let's see how far. It, uh, 260. I literally put this on before the last lecture. It's already sh shared 260 uh, listings. Now, this is probably a little bit outdated. If I refresh this, it probably popped up with like, you know, 20 or 30 notifications. So sharing can be automated. Absolutely love that. So followers on Poshmark really briefly, obviously they can help you because every, you know, share to followers, which is an option that you have, you can either share to party if there's a party going on, or you can share to your followers and you can play around with the, the app and, and uh, the website a little bit more so that you can kind of see that. Um, if you're going to share to your followers, obviously it gives you more eyes as you grow that follower account. You're going to have more eyes if you at 50,000 followers than you will at 1,000 followers. That said, it's really not that important at the end of the day because a lot of the majority of the ways that I teach to grow your Poshmark closet and make more sales don't involve followers. You don't really need that many followers because you can continually just share from parties 
and grow and sell that way. You don't need a high amount of followers. So obviously, if you grow up to like you know fifty thousand or a hundred thousand, I think currently I'm, I might be approaching like sixty five thousand. I genuinely don't even remember. Um, but you know, obviously, then you can start sharing to your followers because you have more people and more eyes that you could potentially you know sell to in that aspect. But for the time being, just share from parties. You don't need a big closet. You don't need a big following. And as you share more and more from parties, and you have this on automation you'll notice that you'll probably grow, you know, a few thousand every week follower wise. So it won't be very, very long for you to grow your class. All right, guys. So I want to talk about prompting sales more specifically on Poshmark. We talked about giving, you know, offers to likers on Mercari, but you can actually tailor that and offer to likers on Poshmark as well. They actually just introduced this probably about a month or two ago, and I've been kind of utilizing it to my advantage to sell more here and there. Let me show you how you can do it yourself. So I, I think realistically, I just made an offer to likers when I was working out this morning to, uh, I think like probably about 90% of the, the uh, listings on my actual Poshmark store. And this is not for, remember guys, this is not for dropship arbitrage. This specifically, this is for reselling items to flip for a profit, right? So with this specifically, what I basically did is I went through and I made offers to likers. So for this specifically, let's give you an example. There's two likers on this one because I liked it just kind of up my stats a little bit. So basically I can go through and I can make an offer to likers on this specific listing right here uh, to those two likers and drop the price. So you can make an offer to obviously edit your listing price and this is where you're gonna do it um, if you're dropping it 10% for a closet clear out party or a closet closeout party. Um, it, or you can offer likers right here and make another offer. So right now it's listed at seven. I could offer discounted shipping um, of like 180 or 679. I could also drop the price down to like seven bucks potentially. And then it's gonna tell me what my earnings are for that. Now, I've been utilizing this a lot lately and you can do this on pretty much anything whatsoever. Just keep in mind that you have to offer discounted shipping. So you can offer free shipping or you can offer uh, you know, just 179, I believe it is shipping too. But you can do this on any listing in your Poshmark closet to help you drive more sales and kind of flip products a little bit faster. A, a great method that you can utilize to your advantage like we always talk about is basically listing them somewhat high, accumulating likes on those potential listings, and then making offers to likers here and there. So on Mercari, you're only limited to like one offer per liker uh, for a certain time period. On Poshmark, you're pretty much unlimited off, allowed, you're allowed unlimited offers. So you can make an offer and then you have to wait like three days, but then you can make another offer. You, you can continually making offers to likers. So on Mercari, you have to be a little bit more smart because you have to time the offers. And once you make an offer of like $7, you have to make a lower offer next time if nobody buys it not on Poshmark, you can continue to make offers over and over and over again, raise the price, lower the price, whatever, whatever. But one of the best ways that you can do that is just kind of accumulate likes on certain listings and then make offers to likers. So test that out, it will really, really help you. So the key here is to not drop your prices too low, too fast. So A, you don't wanna get impatient, and this is a big, big deal on Poshmark. A lot of new sellers are gonna get impatient, uh, and you don't wanna set your price too low at first. Now you'll see here, a couple of these products, I sell a bunch of different things, um, and I just list a bunch of things. I used to sell a bunch of women's products and kind of went out of them. I'll, I'll re, you know, I'll get more back in my inventory, but right now I'm just flipping some uh, some men's products that I have, uh, and then I've ordered on uh, you know a little bit of wholesale. So. The key here is, like I said, you don't wanna A, get impatient and try to sell your clothes too fast for too cheap. You don't wanna drop the price too, too low. But you also, when you go to list them, you wanna actually list them higher than normal. So these specifically right here, these Express Photographer Stretch Cotton Pants. Now I've slightly, you know, slowly started to decrease them, but on top of that, you wanna set the price high. So if you think that you can really realistically flip these and every product and every item is gonna be different depending on, you know, you, you know use, your, use your judgment, you can gauge what you feel like the product's worth. You don't wanna to be too attached to a high, high margin, but you do wanna start high because when you start high, the key there is you'll be able to drop the price. So like I said, you don't wanna get impatient, you wanna start high because what that's gonna do is as you, you, know, you go through and you share, and I've talked about sharing before and you can use those sharing tactics. As you go through and share more products, and as other people share your products, you're going to start accumulating more likes on your listings. And what that's gonna do is once you start accumulating likes, uh, when you drop the price and don't drop the price yet, that will send an email notification to you all, all of the likers on that product. So the key here is you wanna start your price high, accumulate likes, and then as you get a bunch of likes on a product, see this one right here was a perfect example. I actually just dropped this price. Uh, there's 12 likers on this listing and 
when I drop the price, all of them get an email notification that the price has dropped and therefore there's an opportunity that if they buy it, uh, you know, it just keeps you, it gives you the ability to get in front of the customers. Now, you don't want to drop your price just because there's likers on the on the actual listing. You What you want to do is you want to start the price high, just to recap, accumulate the likes by sharing. And then when Poshmark goes to launch one of their, they do this all the time, maybe once a month, sometimes twice. Uh, when they go to launch one of their like closet closeout sales, which is basically everybody gets free shipping if you drop your prices, I think it's 10%, I believe. Um, don't quote me on that. They'll send you an email and let you know. But when they have those closet clear out deals, that's when you want to drop your price because when you drop your price on those closet closeout deals, the customer gets free shipping and they get notified. So they're going to get two notifications, A, that your price was lowered and that they get free shipping. And Poshmark's also going to notify them that, hey, this is a closet closeout deal. You know, if you want to hop on this, you're going to get free shipping at the low price that, you know, for an item that you liked. So the whole key here is start high, share and accumulate likes. When you see closet closeout deals, drop everything by 10%, but do not drop it Earlier than that, I would suggest wait till those closet closeout deals because when you drop at those closet closeout deals, at least 10% and you have a bunch of likes accumulated, you'll sell a lot more of your items at a higher price than if you got impatient. When you drop your price at those closet closeout deals, there's such a high conversion rate, it's ridiculous. So don't get impatient, don't list your clothes too, too low, list them high. If they're relatively worth it, list them a little higher than they're worth. Accumulate the likes because people know that when they like them, uh, they're basically pinning your item for a later date if it drops in price. Today, I want to talk to you about how you can make more Poshmark sales from your closet when you don't have a lot of initial followers. Typically, when for, uh, people for, first get started, they want to go to you know their Poshmark feeds. So they'll go straight to the feed and they'll start sharing stuff from other people. Now this can help get you more exposure because on Poshmark, as we understand, you know, it's kind of like a like for a like on Instagram. Well, on Poshmark, it's a share for a share. So not everybody who's, you know, if you share this person's this person's uh, piece of clothing, for example, they're not always gonna share yours back. But typically when, it, you know, someone shares something of your closet on Poshmark, you it's that law of reciprocity. So you're gonna wanna share back with them. Uh, so, you know, that's a great way to get started, obviously, when you share from feeds. However, it's not going to give you the most bang for your buck because you don't know anything about these people's closets. You don't know that they have, you know, X amount of followers. You don't know, you know, if they're going to share back or anything like that. So you need to hack, uh, you know, Poshmark essentially and ask yourself two main questions. How can I share, uh, you know, from closets with people already have high following so I can leverage that share for share so I can get my products and my clothing in front of the largest possible audience when they're shared. And then number two, how can I ensure that, you know, or give myself, not ensure, but how can I give myself the best chance so that when I share somebody's piece of clothing, they're more likely to share mine back. Two answers, I got both of them for here here today. So we're gonna jump over to my phone and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. All right, so here we are on my phone. Now I'm gonna pop the Poshmark app up really fast. And I wanna show you, there, depending on where your, uh, you know, what your actual intention is, it might be easier to share from the app or it might be easier to share from your actual computer. Cause obviously Poshmark's a website, but it's an app as well. So we're gonna go through this here uh, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I do, uh, you know, when I wanna ensure and answer those two questions. So what I would typically do is you see if you look up here on the top right uh, hand corner, there's a little heart and there's also a little plus person sign. And that's how you can follow other people. So I'm gonna click the, pu the plus person sign and that's gonna take me here where I can search for brands. You know, I can search for people specifically in my city, my college, or I can search for new Poshmark followers. You'll see here the top four right here. But if you look below that, and I'm actually a Posh ambassador myself, uh, if you look below that, you'll see that it says connect with Posh ambassadors. And so what I would suggest that you do to get the most bang for your buck to basically answer the question of, okay, how can I get my clothes to, you know, the most possible uh, and biggest potential audience out there and pretty much ensure that those people are going to share my items back? Well, you're going to share clothing from closets of the Posh Ambassadors. So see here, right here, at City Casual Style. I'm gonna go to their closet and maybe I'll, this is not for sale, this is all sold. And obviously you don't want to share sold things. So a lot of them will, you know, if they're, if they have big enough closets, they'll have a lot of sold stuff. This person's a bad example. Let's just, let's just nix them. So we'll go to this Megan uh, Rainsburg and we're going to share two or three of her pieces of clothing, maybe four, four max. Uh, I don't recommend going over four just because it'll take a little bit too much time and you want to kind of, you know, 
what's the word? Uh, you want to diversify the people that you're sharing. So we're going to share four of her pieces of clothing. And then we're going to go back. And we're going to go down to the next person. Plump, uh, or <laughs> Plumeria. I don't even know how to say that. In Bloom. Uh, we're going to go and we're going to share some of her stuff. So this vintage Penny Hardaway. Share. And then this Minnetonka whatever shoes share and then we'll share one more so you get the picture and then basically what i would do is i'd go back go back down the list donna hrk and i would share this closet as well maybe two to four pieces of clothing from her and what that's going to do is you'll see that this person's a posh ambassador she has fifty six thousand followers this person the next person down let's just pick a random person let's pick this uh, exclamation point sixty three thousand another exclamation point 52,000, Amber Smith, 27,000, uh, Tracy Tibbetts, 106,000. So you get the picture. Let's do uh, D. Burke, 80,000. So the key here is this is a, the perfect place to go and share other people's closets because you're not just sharing from your feed. You're not just sharing randomly. You're sharing from people who you know have big followings. So when they do feel that law of reciprocity and they do go to share your items back, they'll be sharing your items to their 80,000 followers or to their 70,000 followers or to their 300,000 followers. And that's how you can leverage share for share on Poshmark to sell more clothes. Because if they're sharing your clothes back, when you guys go share for share and they're sharing your clothes to their followers, it obviously gives your, your items a bigger, you know, uh, a lot more eyes on them, thus giving you a greater probability to actually sell. What I recommend that you do is you're going to go to parties and you're going to share from parties. Now, the best time that you can share from a party, and I'm going to go into this at the very end, actually on the best time, but the best time that you can share from a party that's not the actual best time, that that makes any sense, is a live party. So if there's a live party going on, which obviously there is not right now, uh, you know, then that's the best time to share from the party that where people have literally just shared because you know that those people are active on the app or the website right now. So if you, you know, it's that law of reciprocity. So if there's a live party going on, obviously that's the most beneficial, but if not, come down to past parties and this last party, you know, just happened. And I'm actually gonna go to this one for, for reference because I literally did this this morning when I was, you know, kind of uh, drinking my coffee. I was just sharing from this past party. So I'm gonna go to this one for the simple fact that I literally shared about 200 items from this, this party earlier. But let's pretend that I'm clicking the first one because that's the most recent party that just happened. So you're gonna click that first party. You're gonna scroll down and you're simply gonna share some stuff and maybe, you know, eight to 20 item increments in, you know, every 10 to 15 minutes. Now you don't have to do this every 10 to 15 minutes, but you know, share eight to 10 things or eight to 20 things, come back a half hour later, share eight to 20 more. The reason that that's going to help you is because you're going to share all those, you know, to your potential followers. And those people are all going to get notifications that you shared. Thus, they're going to feel that law of reciprocity on Poshmark, like we talked about, it's just like like for like on Facebook or like for like on Instagram. You know, somebody shares your, your piece of clothing on Poshmark, you want to share theirs back. It's how it kind of works. It's how you get exposure. And that's how you can leverage, you know, other people's closets to make more sales. But this is great because you know that these people are active. A lot of people when, uh, you know, they just started out, or they're just starting out on Poshmark, they're going to go right to their feed and they're going to share, or they're going to go and they're going to start following stuff, following people. And that can all help. But if you want to get the most eyes on your potential products and the most sales that you could possibly can to make the most money, because that's the whole idea here. We're not trying to build a following to just a mass of following on Poshmark. You know, maybe some of you are, but I'm not, I'm trying to make money. Uh, you know, that it's a, it, the following is a byproduct of making the money. So make the money first, but you're going to simply come down here and share to your followers. So share from the party, and maybe share eight to 20 things, uh, you know, really fast. And this helps if you do this on the computer because you can do it a lot faster with a mouse. Uh, if you have a touchscreen computer, you can do it a lot faster. An iPad works great too. Um, and then you're gonna share all your followers. And what these people are gonna do is you'll start seeing right here, the notifications already coming back in. These people are simply sharing my items back to their followers. Now, some of their followers, yes, if they're not suggested users, they might only have like a thousand followers. And me specifically, if we go to my closet right here, um, I think I have like 45,000, uh, 43,000, 43,6 or whatever. 
Uh, so, you know, you might not always be getting the benefit of having somebody with a bigger closet share your products, but you know that these people, uh, you know, potentially most likely have other followers that are not your followers. So you're getting more eyes on your product. So those people might follow you. They might like your stuff. Uh, they might, you know, obviously, you know, potentially buy hopefully. Um, and you know, you could, a lot of these people that are active in parties are active on the app. If they're sharing to the parties, they're active on the app. Thus they're, they're, they're clearly going to share yours back most likely. And on top of that, they're also, uh, you know, if, if, you know, you have men's clothes, for example, because I sell a lot of men's clothes, what I'll do is I'll come and I'll share the, all my men's clothes to the top of my closet. So I'll share them to my followers to organize them back to the top of my closet. Right. And then I'll go to the men's party and I'll share things from the men's party, knowing that the people in the men's party are obviously men looking for men's clothes. So when they come to my closet to share back, they might potentially buy. So I hope all that makes sense. It's really, really simple to put it short, just share from the latest parties. If there's a live party, that's great. If there's not a live party, share from the most recent party that just passed. That will get more eyes when you get the share backs on your products and your, uh, you know, your potential clothes. And then you can make more money and make more sales when you get those items. You know, when I don't share from parties during a day, I don't, I don't make as many sales. But I've noticed that, you know, when I share from parties, it usually correlates with more sales for that. All right, so now the fun stuff. I'm gonna teach you how to automate your Poshmark uh, closet to make more sales, share more things, and you know, auto follow all that good stuff to get more eyes on your listings so you can make more money. Now, there's a majority of ways to use the a majority of ways to use the the automation tool that I'm gonna show you. But to find the automation tool, all you really do is you go to Google Chrome Store. It's a Chrome app, and then we're gonna go to the store, and you type in Simple Posher. And that's the title of the app, right? And you notice here that I have it already up here. It's $9.99 a month, but you can get a seven day free trial for the app. And you can, if you really don't wanna spend $9.99 a month, you can just keep cycling through free trials. The only thing that you need is you'll, you need a different Google, uh, you know, different Google sign-in. So you can keep cycling through different Google sign-ins if you want to every seven days, or you can just buy it for $9.99 a month. You should be making $9.99 pretty much daily, if not more than a day. Um, once you start retail drop shipping like this seriously enough, um, so $9.99, $9.99 a month is super, super cheap. It's still a steal because if you're scaling up a Poshmark closet, whether you actually have physical items to sell and you have merchandise and listings, or you're actually drop shipping, automation is gonna do everything that you need to do to sell without you having to actually spend your time to do it, right? So. $9.99 a month is a complete steal, but if you wanna just, like I said, cycle through the trials, you know, more power to you. So this is what the, the app actually looks like once you install it on your Google Chrome browser. If you watch nothing else, the best way to sell more items, depending on what you're listing, is find a party that is very, very similar to what you're listing, right? So if you're listing a bunch of kids' items, guess what, you should find a kids' party. If you're listing a bunch of men's items, guess what, you should find the men's party. If you're listing a bunch of women's items, well then you're in luck because a majority of those women's items, uh, you know, uh, they're, all the parties pretty much are women's parties that are outside of, of men's and kids parties, right? So the whole idea behind that is you wanna share to the top of your closet the items of the party that you're going to, right? So if you list a bunch of bags, well, you probably wanna share items out of the bags party. And the reason being, let me just show you. So if you share and you organize your Poshmark closet to have your bags at the top of your closet, right? Then you're gonna turn on the automation to share from the party. And I'm gonna go into this in a second. So if you're starting to auto share from the party, well, guess what? People that listed bags are probably more inclined to buy other bags in the future, right? And they're gonna be more inclined and interested in bags that you have in your closet. So if you're trying to drop ship bags, you should go to the bags party and share items out of the bags party. That's gonna bring traffic and potential eyes and potential customers to your closet because on Poshmark, it's like kind of share for share. So if you share somebody's item, the majority of people will share yours back. So by sharing their item, they're gonna get a little red, uh, a little red notification up in the right, come to your closet to potentially share your item back and then potentially see a bag that they wanna potentially purchase. And that's how you, in a nutshell, without getting too, too into it, that's the best way to really get more eyes on your content on the Poshmark app, right? So let's go back to a different example. Let's say that you're that you're drop shipping men's clothes specifically, right? So you wanna find a men's party, probably the most recent men's party. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up your automation to share from the men's party, right? 
Now, you wanna, the very first thing that you need to know about the automation tool with Simple Posture is that you wanna appear as a human being and not, not like an automation tool, right? So you don't wanna go like one minute or one second maximum, right? And you definitely don't wanna go like, you know, too, too low. You wanna have a wide variety because you wanna do this consistently over time and you wanna make it, uh, you know, a variety of different, uh, of different seconds so you look, it's sharing at random times, right? So when I'm doing this personally, I'd probably go like five seconds to maybe like 21 or 22 seconds. Um, and that's gonna wait in between five seconds and 22 seconds to share an item from this party. And it's just gonna continue to do that until I tell it to stop or it hits the limit that I've set, right? Pretty self-explanatory. Now, for to show you, I'm gonna go three seconds and like 12 seconds, but just for the, the sake of showing you how to actually do this, right? But I wouldn't do it this, this short because eventually if you keep sharing over and over and over again at that fast of a rate, Chances are you're going to get auto captured, which if you don't know what auto captured is, it's not that big of a deal. It just basically means that you've ticked off the algorithm for Poshmark and they know that or, or they there's they suspect that you're using software. Now, if that happens, they have an auto captcha system built into Simple Posture, which is good for you. So what will happen is it will automatically stop sharing anything or doing whatever you've set it, set it to do. And a thing will pop up on your screen that that says, yes, I'm a human being. And you click the yes, I'm a human being. Now, if you happen to go about your business or your day and you come back, it's fine because it's stopped and then you just click, yes, I'm a human being. And then I would wait maybe like five to 10 minutes to start doing it again. But if you're setting your numbers like conservatively to like maybe like six to 25 seconds, well, then you probably won't get too many auto captures because you're conservative. But a lot of people scale it up and they try to ramp it up and they're like two to eight seconds and they set it on like a thousand listings. And guess what? You're probably gonna get auto captured eventually. So be conservative with it, but just for the sake of showing you, I'm gonna go like 13 to like thir three to 13 seconds and we'll do like 50 items really fast. Now you wanna click randomize sharing order and that's pretty much all you need to do. If you're in a party, you hit randomize sharing order and then you start it. And now you can just sit back and go about your life and scroll Instagram or go out and do whatever you wanna do and the, uh, the simple posture is gonna share items from the closet or, or share items from the party for you, right? Now, how's that gonna help automate and make more sales for you, right? Because every single person that's behind these listings, guess what? They have men's clothes, they've listed men's clothes. So they're either a man or they know men and or maybe have like a boyfriend or a husband. So they're more inclined to, if they've listed a, a man's clothing item and you're selling men's or drop shipping men's clothing, right? They're more, they're, they're your target customers. You wanna get their eyes on your closet so they can potentially buy. This is how you do it by sharing their stuff out of the party. And you don't have to do it in the past. If we stop this really fast, clear the console. In the past, what I would teach before I knew about like a good automation tool, I would literally teach just going in and, and manually sharing. But the issue with that is that takes a lot of your time and it's gonna drive you insane because to get any real amount of sharing, you have to sit here and just do it over and over and over and over and over again yourself. And nobody in their right mind can sit there and just do this all day long. You'll see I'm already starting to get notifications and shares back. See, all these people, are, this person saw and they started to share my item back. Same with this person, right? So that's basically how you do it. Just to kind of show you a recap really fast. We're back in the party. We're going to list it. Let's go to like, you know, five to like 21 now. And I'm just going to leave this up and maybe like 100 listings. And then it's going to stop at 100 listings. And it's going to share those listings in between clips of like five and 21 seconds randomly. Boom, start. And now I'm gonna go maybe have some lunch, right? And then it's just gonna share 100 listings from this party and it's gonna bring a potential 100 eyes and a potential 100 customers to potentially buy my drop shipping listings. And that's how you're gonna use it to make more money by automating your closet with this app and selling more drop shipping listings on Posh. So I really hope you got a lot of value in all those Poshmark lectures. I literally compiled them. It was about an hour long, and I thought that those were my best tips that can help you grow your Poshmark closet very, very quickly, make you more money on the platform, and ultimately help you source more profitable inventory. Now, don't forget the free cheat sheet, the free case study are both linked down in the description if you wanna check both of them out. They'll help a lot of you guys out. They'll help you make more money reselling not just on Poshmark, right? And not just sourcing one way, but six ways to source and over 70 of my most profitable and favorite websites to source from are both in those actual case study and cheat sheet, both 100% free in the description. Now, like I did say in the introduction as well, if you're interested in Online Arbitrage Pro, which is my best course, literally the best course I've ever created, the most comprehensive course, it's constantly updating. It's literally everything that I'm doing currently and I keep that updated in my own reselling business to make money. That's always the first link in the description. As 
as well as a lot of my other beginner Udemy courses that are loaded with value for 10 to $15 at the very bottom, okay? So if you're interested, check them out as well, and I hope to see you in the next one.